Good morning guys. It is another day in London and I am so excited to be here. I need to share with you guys what literally just happened. What in the world? I literally just hit 10,000 subscribers. The way that I'm able to love my life, travel, dance, and perform and people watch that and are interested in the life that I live and want to know more about me. Just talking to this camera, like 10,000 people were interested enough to subscribe to me talking to a camera. The most exciting thing about it is that now more than ever, I have so much planned and coming up. Like, I know I keep saying it, but trust me, if you like my content and you like what I've posted in the past, then you'll really like what I'm about to start posting. I feel so blessed that people like to watch my videos and thank you so much if you subscribe. All right, so on with the video. Today, AK and the other roomies are at school and they have a long day at school today. You know, getting their masters and being girl boss queens. I decided it's the perfect day to go around the city by myself and go explore all the touristy areas that I haven't even seen yet. London is massive and there's so much that I've explored already, but there's still so much that I wanna see before I leave. Things like Farm Girl, which is a popular cafe here in Notting Hill, or the Buckingham Palace. I've been looking up TikToks and just Instagram reels and stuff like that that recommend places to go in London. I just want to bring you guys along on my little solo day in London. I will probably be a very basic tourist, but that's what I'm here for. Without further ado, let's get started with the video. Farm Girl was really, really busy. Since I'm by myself, I feel bad to like wait for a table for just one person. I just walked past a scones place. And that's very English, so I'm gonna go get a scone. I'm in Buckingham Palace. Look how cool. It's kind of crazy to think there's like princesses and princes and kings and royal people in there. So a quick Google search told me I was wrong and I thought Prince William and Princess Kate lived in Buckingham Palace, but actually they live in Kensington Palace. And who lives in Buckingham Palace is King Charles and Queen Camilla. So I didn't know that. Um, you learn something new every day. is so beautiful look at the leaves I love it this is the definition of like crisp autumn day it's in like the high 60s so it's not very cold but it's like chilly out so nice there's a bit of a breeze all the people enjoying the park on this day is literally so perfect did you guys know I love London not sure if you heard yet most beautiful walk I think I've ever taken in my life so if you are ever in London you need to walk on I'm pretty sure it's called Constitution Hill it's walking from Buckingham Palace to the Wellington Arch or vice versa same walk but wow that was so beautiful
break, so I came to cut. I'm drinking some coffee. I've already walked like three miles, so I just needed a break. Now we're gonna go someplace called Word on the Water, which I've seen so many TikToks about, and you know me, I'm a big reader, so I'm excited to see it. King's Cross. Now I'm gonna go to the little bookshop on the water. I'm so excited. I've seen so many TikToks about it. Let's go to Word on the Water. in London, I definitely recommend to go check out Word on the Water. I got myself a little tote bag because I know myself and I know I have so many books and I don't want to take up even more space in my luggage with even more books. I figure if I collect little tote bags, they're easy to pack and I'll always remember this little place. And now we're gonna head back to the flat, work a little bit, and then continue with the rest of our touristy day here in London. Guys, I haven't updated you, but we're on the way to go see Wicked. Wicked! But we had some issues. While we were on the train, it stopped, and then everyone started getting off, and we were like, what's going on? And then they were like, and we were like already rushing for the tube, but we, yeah, were, we were still gonna get there early. And then it was like, all lines terminated. Everyone must get off. So now we're waiting for the bus. The bus is over there. We're gonna but, be like 10 minutes late. But we're we? gonna be late. We're in the middle of an so aisle. Okay, but we're still gonna go watch Wicked, so we're That's excited. That's the best part. All right, we're in intermission right now. How are you liking it? I love it. It's love so Wicked. cool. We are fairly far back, but... Um, Clarification, we are in the back of the back row. We are actually like there's the only one behind. other row behind us. And nobody's on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of fun. No one's behind us. And it's like, it's West End. Like these are the best of the best. Doesn't matter where you're sitting, you know? Exactly. Being late, it was kind of nice to just come straight to the back. Not because yeah, our seats were like in the middle originally, so. Yeah, yeah. not have to like cross over people and stuff, so. We'll update you after the show. time to announce it that I'm coming in as a vocalist next contract <laughs> surprise <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my little touristy day around London. I have been having the absolute best time during this trip and I'm glad you guys have been following along for it. You already know what to do if you like this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Click that bell so you're notified every time I make a post. Make sure you follow my Instagram so you see 
where I am in the world, wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having the very best day or night whenever you're watching this. Mwah. See you soon.